Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with a very special guest inside the booth making his PFL debut at Madison Square Garden tomorrow night. It's John the Don Calton. John, how you doing, how are you? sir? Good, man. Good to be here. Excellent. Describe this feeling for me because the Professional Fighters League has been making waves since 2018, and now you get the opportunity to step in. What has this fight week been like? Oh, the whole fight week has been amazing. I mean, this is, it didn't really hit me until um, I got here in the hotel and I saw the Madison Square Garden. Today, it actually really hit me, the going behind the scenes and the walk yeah. out the way ins and stuff. But uh, I was looking at the stadium and it was just, it was amazing. It's, it's a surreal moment for me and I'm, I'm happy I'm here. When you think about all the hard work, the sacrifices, blood, sweat, and tears, and then you get that, you know, Caldone on the back of the shorts, yeah. do you go, man, this is really fucking worth it? Yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's a crazy feeling from going from, like, a regional promotion and then right to PFL. I mean, PFL is, is growing. I, I would say it's, you know, UFC, PFL is right there. You know, I think it's yeah. past Bellator and, and, and one. I, PFL's, they're on the come up for sure. So getting a call in and they notice me, it's, uh, it means a lot. So I'm going to go out there, perform. And uh, give the crowd a good show. You mentioned it, and I want to dig into that regional background, of course, because Triton fights, Flex, yeah. which I, of course, got a little bit of familiarity with. Describe the strong island MMA atmosphere, because there's so many great gyms out here, but in terms of promotions and yeah. like platforming, that's kind of still a step behind, I feel. Yeah, yeah. With, with, uh, you mean like on Long Island in general? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like Long Island has a lot of good underrated like fighters. So it's like I feel like we're all pretty balanced. Yeah. Like you know, we're, we're just not like a spot we're bad at in, in the fight game. You know, I mean, you got Long Island MMA. Or my gym is is a bunch of balanced people there. You know, uh, fighters. You got Law is a big gym as well. You got you know Aljamain Sterling was his champion for yeah. how long? So it's a uh, yeah, that, that's a good question. I don't know. Long Island's definitely definitely big and on the come up for sure. When you trace back your amateur mixed martial arts beginnings, how did this all start? Like, how did you fall into combat sports? I was a basketball player for a while. You're I, kidding. I loved basketball. So I, I went to college to play basketball, and I was, um, there was 15 players on the team, and I was the 16th. And they, they told me, they were like, hey, if somebody fails off the team, you're going to get the call. And I was like, yo, fuck, like, fuck that. Can I curse on this? Yeah, you okay. curse, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like fuck that. And I, uh, I became a steam fitter for three months. And I was like, dude, I hate my life. I don't want to do this nine to five every day, waking up at 4 a.m. And then I, um, I found the gym on Long Island. One of my buddies went, so I texted him. I'm like, hey, uh, what's it take to get a membership there? And he's like, you know, whatever it was a month. I fell in love with it. I didn't go so consistently the first year. I was like iffy about it. Like, yeah. Jiu-Jitsu was Touch weird. When go, first, yeah, it's first, you know, at first it was very weird. But um, once I started getting to the hang of it, my coaches saw that I was pretty skilled with it. So they ran with me, they helped me out, you know, they, they taught me how to throw my first punch on that MMA, and I'm thankful for them. But, uh, yeah, now I'm here. It's six years in, six, were seven you, years in. Were you a fan of the sport before you had started training it? Were you no, aware dude, of it? No, dude, I really yeah. wasn't. I, I'm still, like, if you bring up, like... <laughs> You're still not much yeah, of a fan? Like, no, I'm a fan of it yeah. now. I'm just saying, like, if you bring up, like, old fights, yeah, and, like, oh, that fight was crazy. I might not know that fight, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so some people will say I'm, like, a casual or whatever, but, I mean, I do the sport, so, like... Even when I go home, I don't go home and like die to watch the sport because right. I'm doing it every day, and yeah. um, you know I, I like to relax, to get my mind off it sometimes. Especially when I'm fighting. When I'm not fighting, I like to like you know increase the brain a little bit and um, study some stuff. But when I'm fighting in camp, it's just like uh, I've had. I was there for seven hours today. Like yeah, let me just go home go and sleep and exactly. watch you know, a, ba a baseball game or a basketball game. So, but. Yeah, I, I, I would say I'm in love with it, though, now, for sure. You talked about expanding your brain and kind of venturing into interests and passions outside of fighting. What would you say that those are? Is it reading? Is it, you know, maybe, like you said, further education, yeah. getting degrees and shit? Like, what does those interests and hobbies look like for you? I, I, I love video games, to be honest. Fair I'm, enough. I'm a big gamer. Um, <laughs> like I said, I love sports. Sports is a big thing. I'll, I'll watch a, baseball, a full baseball game I can watch. I'm a big Met fan. Um, but even if, like, the Mets aren't on, I'll watch a, you know, a random game, whatever's yeah. on there. Football season's come up. I'll watch football. Basketball I love, obviously, like we said before. And, uh, yeah, so I, I like to do, like, watch those and, you know, video games as well. Just to get my mind off. Relax the mind for a bit, especially, like I said, when I'm in camp. Just get your mind off fighting a little bit, like, relax your brain. And then, you know, the next day comes and you got to do it another seven hours again. Yeah, so baby steps. You gotta, yeah. You know, one day at a time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Talking about this camp specifically, we mentioned a little bit off air. Five weeks, six weeks, I mean, shorter yeah. notice, but at the same time, Good amount, I would say, for a camp. Yeah, no, it, it was it was good. I mean, it was tough. It was definitely a tough camp. Um, they actually, it wasn't always about the. They offered me a, a first opponent, and it was like a really bad matchup for us. So we said no. We were like, all right, whatever. So I thought I wasn't fighting. I was yeah. on vacation, whatever. And then like two days later, they came back with uh, my opponent now, Nathan, Nathan uh, Grimard. 
and we liked the matchup. I think it could be an exciting fight, so we took it. And especially if since it's in New York, I mean, you know, it's right in my backyard. Yeah. You know, it's. I took the train in a couple of times, went home, slept in my own bed. You know, I didn't have to stay here if I, you know. So it's good to have that comfort and. Um, Basically, a home game for you, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, it's big. Yeah, a lot of people are coming out, bought tickets, supporting the whole gym. A lot of is coming out, so it's gonna be a fun night. And first time competing at Madison Square Garden. Oh yeah. yeah. Describe what that's gonna be like. Oh man, I mean, I was telling you before, like being in that atmosphere, and looking at the lights, the the big screens where it says PFL, and then like the promos for like Shane Burgos, Shane Burgos versus uh, Clay Collard. So that's a big fight. That's yeah. it. I'm, I'm gonna stick around for that. It's gonna be a fun one. Shane Burgos, another guy from New York. He's yep. a Cool dude, yeah. But um, they had just seen all of them, and even seeing like Shane Burgos and Clay in the main event, it's just like, what the hell? Like, where am I? You know what I mean? <laughs> but, like, I'm here, and I'm gonna take in the moment, and I'm gonna go out there and perform as best as I can. And it's proof of all the work that you put in. I mean, you belong yeah. on the card, man. Like, don't get yeah. it twisted. Thank you. Um, and when we think about this opponent, Grimmer, got a bit of length, got a bit of size, yeah. but in terms of prediction and, and maybe how you envision this one going, is there a set? Okay, I think that this is how I can best him. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think he's gonna come out grappling heavy. I, I don't think he thinks my grappling is uh, that good. I mean, I, I'm a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, one stripe purple belt, and in my wrestling, I train every day, you know. So yeah. I think he's like underestimating my, grap underestimating my grappling a little bit. You know, I can catch him there if I wanted to. I mean, I would like to prefer to keep it on the feet because I, I like to be exciting. I like to be an entertainer. I like to make sure the crowd's involved. Yeah. And, if you're uh, not making fans in this sport, exactly. then you're not gonna be here long. Yeah, exactly. So if, you're, if I'm just laying on you for three rounds, it's not gonna be fun. If he's laying on me for three, I'm sure he's gonna come out and be a tough opponent and excited. He's gonna wanna win first and foremost. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure he's nervous too. Um, you know, being it's his first time in Madison Square Garden or bigger, this is his biggest uh, promotion as well. So, you know, it's gonna be a fun match. We're, we're both gonna feel those nerves a little bit. We're gonna feel each other out. Be a little bit of a grappling match, but I think I can out. Uh, I can think I have best in that. So it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. Lastly, I want to take the conversation over to Joe the Bone Caldone. Um, <laughs> I know that he hates that fucking nickname. Yeah. But it's listen. It's not his choice. Um. Yeah. No, I just got to stick with it. I mean, it's a good. It's a good nickname. It sounds good. I I enjoy it. <laughs> as long as you enjoy it. Yeah. Me and James love it. Yeah. Um, what is the experience like watching him grow in his career and kind of following in your footsteps? Because that's got to be really, yeah. oh, as an older brother, uh, uh, the most kindest thing or, or something oh like dude that. he's like uh he's my right hand man I, he's yeah. with me every step of the way he was with me this whole camp you know whatever i need he's always there so i mean i, I can't wait to see what he does you mm -hmm. know if he wants to he doesn't have to do it because i'm doing it but he, I, I can see that he enjoys it and he loves it so if he wants to keep going with it and i'll be there you know 10 times out of 10 whatever he wants to do whether it's mma through kickboxing he's a good you know he's one and all in kickboxing only one mma but he's in he's, he'll, he'll be back he's yeah. uh fighting in september He's working very hard with me. So, yeah, I love that kid. He's a good kid. We getting Joe the Bone in the corner tomorrow night? No, he won't be in the corner. He'll be in the, he'll be in the crowd. Yeah, he'll be in the crowd. He's, he hasn't reached that level yet. But um, maybe eventually. I'll be in his corner, though, all the, you know, for sure, his next fight. But he's, he's in my corner behind the scenes all the time. So that's all that really matters. There we go. Yeah. John the Don Caltone, thank you so much for the time, no brother. Problem, Best of luck in the debut. I thank cannot so wait to see you perform. Thank you so much, man. Good to be here.